Welcome back to Budapest! In the second part, we will ascend the majestic St. Stephen's Basilica, pay homage to the heroes of Hero Square, and stroll down the elegant Andrasi Avenue and witness the city come alive from the heights of the Budapest Eye at night. So here behind me is the St. Stephen's Basilica, completed in 1904. It's another massive building like we've seen so many here in Budapest and there's a dome at the top and I think you can go up there so let's check out. The Basilica can hold eight and a half thousand people inside it. It's got a massive organ there, six and a half thousand pipes that's used for concerts and it's got the mummified hand of King Stephen I. How crazy is that? Bought my ticket, about 10 euros, good price and now it's time to go all the way up. Yeah. And then it was time to walk up the stairs. You can take a lift, but I thought I'm young, I'm Swiss. Even though I've got a beer belly, I am a little bit sporty. Made it to the top, but there weren't that many stairs, thankfully. And then... Oh, <laughs> I thought I made it, but there are even more stairs. I'm not at the top yet. But soon enough, I made it all the way up inside the dome. Then it was time to go out. Look at this, finally got on top of the dome. And look, the whole of Budapest behind me. Pretty, pretty cool. And the view from up top is just amazing. Definitely worth a visit and the 10 euros. And to go back down, you have to go by left to can walk. Leaving the St. Stephen's Basilica. The views at the top were amazing. If you're ever in Budapest, go up to the dome. Hey guys, welcome to a square that's named after me, Hero Square! The central feature of the square is the Millennium Monument, a 36 metre tall column topped with the Archangel Gabriel holding the Hungarian Holy Crown. The monument is surrounded by statues of seven chief trains of the Magyars, the founders of Hungary, as well as other important historical figures. The square was built in 1896 to commemorate the 1000th anniversary of the founding of Hungary. Hero Square is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is considered one of the most iconic landmarks in Budapest. The square is a popular gathering place for events, celebration and festivals, especially in summer. Hero Square is also the home of the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, a memorial dedicated to the soldiers who died in World War I. Salute you. And it's a good thing the Hero Square is right on the Andrasi Avenue, where all the really expensive stores are in Budapest, like Gucci and Louis Vuitton, if you've got more money than cents. Also, of course there has to be a part of Switzerland on the most expensive street in Budapest. And it's the first time ever I've seen a Sphinx with female breasts, which is quite interesting. And you've got beautiful buildings right next to it. I have to say, this is one of my favorite parks in Budapest. It's so nice, relaxing, just sit and go through your thoughts. And even nicer with the Ferris wheel lit up behind me. And that's the one thing I want to do before I go to Romania. So let's go, should be exciting. And how beautiful is the eye of Budapest lit up at night? Here are the prices, about 400 Hungarian forenists a euro. You can also buy the tickets online like I did. And I got myself the priority ticket. Wow, if you buy with priority, you get to hang out in this VIP area, so happy days. Got to wait in the VIP area on the sofa, and now I've got a whole cabin for myself. So, Brilliant, it's swinging, so, uh, wow. Well. And while it's quite wobbly going up, it was quite nice. 
I just love Budapest at night. And going back down. Takes about eight minutes and you go up four times. And now it's off to Romania, one step closer to the end goal of Moldova. Let's do it. Thank you so much for supporting me. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And now we're off to Romania. See you there.